When merging onto a freeway, it is usually best to a. Proceed slowly while waiting for an opening. b. Accelerate to a speed that is faster than the speed of traffic. c. Turn on your hazard lights until safely on the freeway. d. Accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic. d. Accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic. When entering a freeway, use the on-ramp to accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic so you can blend in smoothly and safely. Entering traffic must yield to traffic already on the freeway. A flashing red traffic signal at an intersection has the same requirements as A. A slow sign. B. A yield sign. C. A stop sign. D. An intersection sign. C. A stop sign. When approaching a flashing red signal, you must stop and yield to all traffic that does not have to stop. Larger vehicles have A. Larger blind spots. B. Smaller blind spots. C. No blind spots. D. The same blind spots as smaller vehicles. A. Larger blind spots. The larger the vehicle, the larger the blind spots. Large trucks and SUVs have spots close to their rears that cannot be seen in their side or rearview mirrors. What should you do if your accelerator sticks while you are driving? A. Reach down and attempt to pull it up. B. Shift to park. C. Shift to neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake. D. Turn the engine off. C. Shift to neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake. If your accelerator sticks while you are driving, keep your eyes on the road. Quickly shift the vehicle into neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake pedal. Pull off the road when it is safe to do so and turn off the engine. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When passing a large vehicle, the driver of a small vehicle must be prepared for a loud noises b excess air pollution c wind gusts produced by the large vehicle d falling vehicle parts pennant shaped signs indicate a school zones b no passing zones c speed limits D. Railroad crossings. B. No passing zones. Pennant shaped signs usually indicate no passing zones. Text will also be on the sign to confirm that it is a no passing zone. Road rage and aggressive driving may be reduced by A. Allowing extra travel time. B. Obeying posted speed limits. C. Using proper turn signals. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. As an increasing number of drivers populate the roadways, road rage becomes more prevalent. To help prevent road rage, a driver should use proper turn signals, obey posted speed limits, and allow plenty of travel time. This sign means A. Emergency vehicles ahead. B. Uncontrolled intersection ahead. C. Four way stop ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. This sign warns that a traffic signal is ahead. Driving while being distracted by any activity. A. 
is never dangerous. B. Usually causes the driver to react more slowly to hazards. C. Usually causes the driver to drive faster. D. Is only dangerous for young drivers. B. Usually causes the driver to react more slowly to hazards. Distractions cause drivers to react more slowly to traffic and hazards on the roadway. Distracted driving is never safe. A good defensive driver. A. Drives slowly at all times. B. Looks out for the actions of other drivers. C. Travels at a constant speed. D. Only drives in familiar areas. B. Looks out for the actions of other drivers. Even the most experienced drivers can be distracted while driving. A defensive driver looks out for the actions of other drivers and anticipates potential problems. You come to an intersection with a flashing red light. You must A. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. B. Turn either right or left, since the road is blocked ahead. C. Stop at the intersection and wait for a flashing green light. D. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. D. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. A flashing red light means that you must come to a full stop, and then proceed when the way is clear. What does this road sign mean? A. Slow down and prepare to stop if cars are approaching you. B. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. C. Proceed carefully through the intersection, not always stopping. D. Stop only for traffic on an intersecting road. B. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. A stop sign means that you must come to a full stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in or heading toward the intersection. Go again when it is safe. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. D. Road curve. B. Intersection. This sign indicates that AT intersection is ahead. Which of the following is true about driving on a wet roadway? A. As you drive faster, your tires become less effective. B. Water does not affect cars with good tires. C. Deep water is less dangerous than shallow water. D. As you decrease your speed, the roadway becomes more slippery. A. As you drive faster, your tires become less effective. The faster you drive on a wet roadway, the less effective your tires will be at wiping the water from the road. If your speed becomes excessive enough, your tires will lose their grip on the road entirely and you will begin to hydroplane, that is, to slide down the road on a film of water. When changing lanes, you should A. Rely on your mirrors. B. Begin signaling as you move into the next lane. C. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. D. Always check your blind spot. D. Always check your blind spot. Other cars and motorcycles are often hidden in a vehicle's blind spot, so be sure to glance over your shoulder before you begin a lane change. Begin signaling 100 feet before changing lanes or turning in a residential area. Signal 5 seconds in advance when changing lanes on a freeway. When you see or hear an emergency vehicle coming, you should A. Stop immediately and let the vehicle pass. 
B. Drive as far toward the right side of the road as is safe and stop. C. Proceed slowly and permit the vehicle to pass. D. Keep moving slowly, staying to the right side of the road. B. Drive as far toward the right side of the road as is safe and stop. When driving on a two-lane roadway or undivided highway, you must yield to an emergency vehicle using its lights and or siren, regardless of the direction from which it is approaching. Immediately drive as near as possible to the right side of the road and stop, taking care not to stop within an intersection. You are borrowing an unfamiliar vehicle from a friend. You should. A. Not put too much thought into it because all vehicles are the same. B. Hide from your friend that you are unfamiliar with the vehicle. C. Disregard any obvious defects to avoid embarrassing your friend. D. Take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. D. Take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the operation and location of all the vehicle's equipment. When driving an unfamiliar vehicle, take a few minutes before driving to familiarize yourself with the location and operation of the turn signals, hazard warning signals, headlights and beam selector, windshield wipers and washers, brakes, gear selector, and horn. Any defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. As you drive, you're required to stop your vehicle. A. At an intersection with a stop sign. B. Where there is a red light. C. When a traffic officer orders you to stop. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Situations where motorists are required to stop include approaching intersections with stop signs, approaching intersections where a red light is either flashing or illuminated, or any time when a traffic officer orders your vehicle to stop. When you see other drivers around you acting or reacting in anger. A. Don't make eye contact. B. Don't react with hand gestures. C. Distance yourself from the situation. D. All of these. D. All of these. When other drivers are behaving angrily, you should take action to physically and mentally distance yourself from the situation. Avoid making eye contact with them, or making body movements or gestures that could provoke them. Slow down, move over or do whatever you safely can to put yourself out of danger. Alcohol. A. Slows reflexes and reaction time. B. Puts you to sleep. C. Wakes you up. D. Improves your judgment. A. Slows reflexes and reaction time. Alcohol is a depressant drug that slows the activity of the brain and reduces the skills that you need for safe driving. Drinking alcohol results in slowed reaction time and impaired judgment. Is it legal cross a double solid yellow centerline to pass? A. Yes. B. No. C. If there is no oncoming traffic. D. If the vehicle ahead of you is driving under the speed limit. B. No. Two solid yellow lines down the center of a two-way road mean that neither lane of traffic may cross the lines, unless they are turning off of the roadway. A driver can cross double yellow lines when turning into or out of a driveway or entrance to a business. No passing is allowed over a solid yellow line. When parallel parking between two cars, you should first A. Turn your wheels to the left. B. Turn your wheels to the right. C. Pull up even with the car in front of your desired parking space. D. Back slowly. 
C. Pull up even with the car in front of your desired parking space. After finding a parking space, checking traffic, and signaling, you should stop parallel to the vehicle directly ahead of your desired parking space before turning your wheel to park. This sign means A. Yield. B. Crossroad ahead. C. Keep right. D. Yield ahead. A. Yield. Traffic signs with three sides of equal length warn drivers to slow down when approaching an intersection and to be prepared to come to a complete stop to yield to other drivers or pedestrians. Drivers may proceed when it is safe to do so. To enter a freeway. A. Signal. Yield to existing traffic. And enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. B. Signal and enter the freeway. Freeway traffic must yield. C. Drive slowly so you can check traffic. D. Always come to a complete stop first. A. Signal. Yield to existing traffic. And enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. When merging into traffic, you should signal and enter at the same speed that traffic is moving. Always yield to other traffic when entering a roadway. If someone is driving aggressively behind you, you should A. Try to get out of the aggressive driver's way. B. Stare at the driver as he or she is passing you. C. Speed up as he or she is passing you. D. Block the passing lane. A. Try to get out of the aggressive driver's way. If you encounter an aggressive driver, you should make every attempt to get out of their way. You should avoid making eye contact with a hostile driver. Challenging a hostile driver by speeding up may only make them angrier, thereby increasing their danger. <laughs>